Hi everyone, it's Frank again. Welcome to another diorama tutorial. Today we're doing a Hoth diorama again. It's how to build the shield generator. It's a level C for children five and up. It's made with paper plates. It's super easy. You can find all the materials at home in your dollar store. And once you're done, you can even place it outside in real snow and make a winter diorama of sorts. So enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. Here's a list of materials you'll need to build your shield generator. Start off with a 9 inch paper plate. Now to make your template you just fold the plate in half to create half a plate so it's easier to just trace instead of having to fold it every time. So trace with your template then take scissors cut your plate in half and save the two sections for later use. Now take the 7 inch plastic plate, you're going to take a template which is half the plate again and you're going to place it on the plate, trace it and then use scissors to cut along the line. Now you might have to rotate the plate in order to cut it easier to reach the center. Now this excess lip we don't need that so we're going to trim with the scissors on the outside to make it look like the top and not the bottom which is the original plate. Then take the other half and trim the excess off of that also. Now get a two and a half inch styrofoam ball from the dollar store. Find the seam over here that will give you the exact half of the ball and slice that with your exacto knife. Then slice that half in half to make a quarter. Now measure three quarters of an inch and slice the quarter just like this. Put some hot glue and attach it to your plastic plate making sure it's aligned at the bottom. Then do the same thing for your other half of the plastic plate. Now it so happens that there's a groove on these paper plates. Use that as a guide for your hot glue and then put your plastic plate on top of the paper plate making sure the bases line up just like this. Do the same for the other half, hot glue, plastic plate, align and then you have your two sides of your dome. Now get your foam core, you're going to measure 14 and a half at the top and bottom and then you're going to measure one and a half on each end and this will give you your strip. Cut along the foam core with your X-Acto blade and you'll get a ruler type shape like this. Draw some lines about one centimeter each apart. Now don't put your X-Acto at the top like this. You want to make it as horizontal possible to score across without going to the other side. You don't want to cut through. Now continue this till you reach all the way across the strip to the other side. Now you'll be able to separate slowly and gently the star foam so that you'll be able to bend it. Now if you bend it too quickly, oh no, you certainly don't want that. So slowly bend your arch, even if it takes two to three times, that's fine. Slowly, eventually, you'll have an arch like this, which will become the centerpiece of your dome. Now for the gluing, you want to take your strip and divide it into three equal parts. So take your hot glue gun and place the glue on the first section and then align the plate to the sides of the strip. Take the hot glue, place it in the center section of your strip and then attach the plate making sure to press along the seams. Then your hot glue on the remaining strip and then attach the plate making sure to scrape off any excess glue. Now flip the half dome around and do the same thing. Hot glue on the first third, attach your plate, hot glue on the center, press down carefully making sure it's aligned, scrape off any excess and then the last remaining hot glue and then press the sides. Cut off the excess and put it aside for now. Okay, it's not Lieutenant Uhura's earpiece, it's actually an alcohol pourer that you find at the dollar store. Slice both ends off, be careful not to slice your fingers off and then you'll see this little base here. Use that as a guide to slice the bottom part. Use a wood burning pen for your styrofoam to make a little groove Put the hot glue gun on the end of one of the little plastic ends and then stick into the hole that you made the styrofoam and this is what your dome looks like. Now just repeat this step three more times to have four domes and three pourers and we're ready for painting. Now take some dark gray latex paint and you add some water to make it watered down and then you're going to cover all of the styrofoam pieces. Now here you'll notice that less paint actually keeps the texture and looks nicer than just too much blotch. Then you're going to take some black paint and paint only the ends so that it looks kind of like dirty and rusty. Then you'll take a sponge and then dab 
to make it look like there's oil residue and oil drippings only on the ends and the tips though once you're done then you're ready to place it and let it dry now if you have some instant snow or some laundry detergent you can place that along the floor base in order to give the snow texture place them at the top and use a spoon to just knock off some of the excess your shield generator element is now complete you can place it alongside the other elements that you created to make your ultimate hoth base. If you like action figures and diorama displays, visit Frank Fiorio's DioramaWorkshop.com, your source for the best action figure display tutorials, including hundreds of display photos from your favorite films, step-by-step -step instructions for home building, including free blueprints, decal downloads, and Frank's live construction camp. For video tutorials, visit YouTube DWC the official DioramaWorkshop.com video companion. And make sure to find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Diorama Workshop. See exclusive workshop pictures live as I build my dioramas before they appear anywhere else online.